Stacy Lindstedt, are you out there? Stacy, are you still out there? Let's see if she is. Hello? Hi, Stacy. How you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm great. I'm just touched. I mean, I'm really moved, you know, because uh, Lisa took us there really quick, like all the, the good stuff, all the depth. So Lisa, I mean, uh, excuse me, Stacy, where are you calling from? So I'm calling from Rockford, Illinois. It's about an hour and a half northwest of Chicago. Oh, very cool. And um, who was it that introduced you to the ER shred? So I was introduced by Bob and Bob Sivright. He yep. posted on Facebook for a long time. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I just watched. And I think probably the most impactful thing that he shared, and I think Allie actually um, pushed him to do this Facebook post. And he was on Facebook and he just started crying. And he was just saying how amazing he felt. And I knew it was from the heart. It wasn't bullshit, excuse me, French. It was real. Yeah. And that moved me because it's so easy just to say, I'm doing some product and it's so amazing. And it can come across as so inauthentic. Yeah. He posted that. I, I'll never forget it. I, you know, I was still. I remember as well. I think he was walking around in the snow outside. Yeah. Yes, he was. It, it, yeah, it makes me emotional to think about. Because he was being, he was being, obviously he was being honest. Like you don't have those kind of emotions if you're not being honest, like especially as a man. Mm -hmm. uh, be that vulnerable is beautiful. And it really moved me and I still didn't pull a trigger, but I was very intrigued. Yeah. So. Well, that's awesome. And what are you by the way, shout out Bob Sivright, superhero. We love you. <laughs> Allie, we love you. Um, what is your passion? We, we Just to know a little bit about you, what are you the most passionate about? So it's funny. In the past maybe four or five years, I've done a lot of work on purpose. And it got so convoluted and crazy and trying to figure it out and making it sound good and all this shit. But at the end of the day, what I am passionate about and what I know my purpose is, is just to inspire and help people in whatever capacity that is. So, and wherever that person is, I meet them where they are. But if I can make them feel better than they felt before, or yeah. if I can help them guide them to a solution that they are considering and or may leave me and say, wow, you know, I should have done this. That's how I feel I should be living my life on this planet is to, to genuinely inspire and help people. And that's it. It's that simple. There's no, like, I used to have all of these words in my head of how, you know, if I said all of these crazy words, but it's, it's just the reality is that's what I'm passionate about that I can wake up in the morning and look at myself in the mirror and know that. I'm doing that. And it, it could be as simple as just grabbing a cup of coffee for someone. It could be so complex. Yeah. It could be all of the things, right? I dig so. it. I, I dig it. The, the world would be a much better place if, if everybody, you know, found, found fulfillment in that. So yeah. um, it's a good mantra. I love that. I love that Thank a lot. Thank you. Um, how long ago was it that you did your first ER shred? So ironically it was about a week and a half ago oh so, yeah i have been i have been using isogenics for over 10 years yes and i'd never done a cleanse even when i i got enrolled if anyone knows emily vavra i got enrolled by her in 2011 mm -hmm. and i'm training for a marathon and I knew everything and I'm not going to cleanse and I'm going to only do nightly cleanse. You know, I was a personal trainer. I went to Institute of Integrative Nutrition. I knew it all, but I didn't, but I knew it all. <laughs> and so I went on this journey and I, I just, I got 
some things in my life that happen where I just completely stop using isogenics. I actually think it has a lot. It sounds like it's a very similar story as you, where my body shut down and it, yeah. it, oh, it didn't know it was coming or going. And it got to the point where I had to eliminate isogenics out of my life and go on this endocrine system diet, which basically in your endocrine system is just to blink your eyes and just the basics, right? Eating simple food. And so I hadn't used isogenics in four years. So it was a huge deal for me to watch these posts from Bob and for me to be like inspired because right. I'm inspiring people, except what's inspiring me that it inspired me to take a chance again on isogenics and take a chance on the possibility that um, I could feel good again with these products. Right. So yeah, it's, it's uh it's been pretty amazing. I, I must I just say. want to thank you for, um, I, I find that to be so brave and genuine to, for you to say that. Um, and, and I just want to thank you for that because I, I shrank from being honest and open about that for many years yeah. uh, for obvious reasons, you know, but I, I think that's the cool part about this community. Crystal was talking about it today. This community is really about being vulnerable and being honest and opening up and, you know, not just sugarcoating everything for the sake of, you know, the mighty dollar, you know, let's, let's, let's be human. Let's, let's show each other our human. And, and that's a good space. So what unfolded for you when you went on the ER shred? So what was amazing, I'll be honest with you, like to me, um, I'm trying to think of the phrase that it's from the Bible. It says, without a vision, the people perish. Oh, and, right. Okay. And so there was this vision that you created that people have, have followed this journey, even though it's not like you're leading the ship, but it's not like you're, I am the diplomat, I'm the leader. It's like everyone's leading together. And when Bob put me in this group, I was just so inspired by everything about it and how everybody was contributing and everybody was commenting and there was it, it was like there were millions of leaders there wasn't um it, it's just this feeling and so when I started the shred to me it was that feeling that I had missed so much with isogenics even though I had been in it for 10 years I just lost so much sight of it so it inspired me to start the products again. And then it inspired me to go on a cleanse. And what's crazy is, like I said, my entire journey was nightly cleanses because I, I know it all and, it, and, and I don't, I'm an idiot and not being, you know, trust me, I'm, I'm okay with saying that. Um, but it, it made me take this leap to, entertain doing this two-day cleanse, which I had never, uh, had never done before. And I was absolutely blown away. I was so excited. Like I felt like I had, I had climbed Mount Everest. <laughs> <laughs> it's that big. I think, I think it's, I mean, I do. Was, I think it's a big deal. I was so excited. And I'm not, a, I'm not a, with my background with personal training, this, that, and the other, I do not weigh myself because that just pisses me off. But like, I could tell that I was losing inches and I just, I just, it reinvigorated my belief in isogenics again. And that's so huge because it's never that I've never believed in the products. It was just that things that changed in my life, I changed, my body changed. And so I didn't know how to Humpty Dumpty put it back together again. Like I just didn't know how to make it work in my life. And I feel like this makes sense. Like it makes sense from a nutritional standpoint. It makes sense from uh, a community standpoint. And so like anytime I'm like, I can't do this two day cleanse. Then I see all these people in the group just being like, you can do it. You, you know, and they're just, it's just, it's truly remarkable. I've been in so many Facebook groups with isogenics in, in my 10 years. I even had an amazing Facebook group 
Uh, but this takes the cake. Like I, hey. it takes the cake. Like, Thank you so much. That's that's what we're going for. You know that we're we're all going for the same thing. We yeah. really are. And I, I wouldn't say that it's because of me or because of any one person. But it it's you got to find the right like attracts like and when you do find your like kind and then you guys all show up together wow that's magic when magic happens is that's that's the equation i mean that's the the recipe for magic in a group you got to have a lot of very unselfish people and you know what's funny so i i i feel so good so independent of all the inches and all the things that everybody's looking for for me I was so fired up that I was afraid that I was anxious. So I took the lorazepam to calm me down, but really it wasn't the lorazepam I needed. I just didn't know what it meant to feel like that. I literally thought that I was manically insane and needed to take a, what do you call it? A opioid. What are, but, but what are we talking about? Are we talking about like, did you have that come alive moment? Was it yeah. that? Okay. Yeah. What did that and feel like? It just so much energy like to me that's monumental because prior to er shred i mean i would literally snooze 10 times i would have like okay so if i have to be up by 7 a.m i'm gonna go a good five o'clock 5 35 45 like shit you not until up to seven where now it's i'm waking up at 5 30 yeah and i'm whacked out and i'm like wait what is going on like why am I not snoozing? Yeah. So then I'm up and then I'm thinking I'm losing my mind. Like I said, so I took, like, I get a lorazepam from my psychiatrist. Hey guys, <laughs> just, just, just I get acute anxiety. Awesome. I just love how open you are. I love it. I, I, I get acute anxiety. So I was like, oh my God, I'm going to have a fucking panic attack. And lo and behold, I'm not, I just feel good. Like, yeah. and that was, to me, that's what sold me. And that was the gold. Like, yes, the inches and the this and the that are fine and they're great and they're awesome. But yeah. for me, I feel good. I wanted to be energized. I wanted to be surrounded by great people. So the weight and all that, that is a byproduct of all of it. Yeah. Like I, yes, I want to lose weight. Every woman on the planet wants to lose weight, whether a hundred pounds or 400 pounds, they want to lose weight. So yes, that's important. But like that to me, I'll, I'll never forget that day when I literally thought I was losing it because I was so hyper that I thought it needed to calm down, but yeah. that's really how you're supposed to feel. Right. Well, I know the feeling because when, when I had that moment that you're talking about, I burst into tears, like what you saw with Bob. <laughs> Yeah. I burst into tears and my wife came out on the deck and she goes, Sean, what's wrong? And I said, I don't, I just don't understand how I, I feel so good. Yes. <laughs> I was crying because I, I couldn't believe it was possible to feel yeah. that good. But here's what's crazy. I'm 18 months later and I am popping up at 545 in the morning. You know, I don't need to get up for anything, but yeah. I'm popping up and I'm going and working out because that's what I'm feeling. Yep, exactly. So, well, I, we can't take much longer. Is there anything else you'd like to share with everybody out there about your experience before we let you run? I'll be honest with you. I don't, I feel like I share with my heart. And if anyone has any questions, put it in the Facebook chat. I'm just yeah. super here and I'm super grateful. You asked me to be on here and I'm super grateful for Bob Seabright and Allie. Um, and yeah, I just uh, keep taking it one day at a time. Whoever is on this journey, whether you just started or you're a year, year and a half in, like yeah. just take a day at a time and, and know that we're in the right place at the right time. That's all I can think of to say. I'm going to give you a, I'm going to give you a shout out here. I'm not going to say anything other than um, you did not toot your horn about your success, not one time. And I just want you to know how much I respect that. You didn't get on here and flex your muscles. You didn't get on here and say, guys, do you know what I've accomplished? Like, and you've accomplished a lot. 
mad respect for you because th those are the kinds of people I want to associate with is the people that they don't even say it. They don't even, they don't even feel that need because that's not what this is about. So thank right. you. You're welcome. Thank you. All that's right.